Okay, we are back in Octopath Traveler 2. So we're taking a small detour into the abandoned waterway just because I'm bored with doing some of the story stuff, and this is the only level relevant dungeon I've been able to find to, well, to date. I'll go ahead and go as far as to say that. We could come across where Casty Chapter 3 is, but I'd rather do the waterway. So we need to make our way over there. As for the team, eh, I think we can make do with this group. Possibly having Particio or Agnia for money generation would be a little handy. It's just we're at 50,000 leaves. We're not too poor, even though we're not really that wealthy. So the enemies in this area are weak enough to where Temenos can just vaporize them. It just took one cast of... I don't know if it's Luminescence or what his AoE one is, but that one and literally everything died. It is possible, like, we're going to be kind of overleveled for this part, but, uh best I can do for the moment, folks. Now, what would suck is if this is a side quest that I haven't uncovered and I have to come back here later, like that stupid woods. Wiggly, wriggling root. So the enemy there were lizard men. I could get a double bash or a bash all, it's just I chose to pass on both of them. What is his other thing? Oh, we don't even, we can't even see his other one yet. I'll bite the bullet. Advanced Magic Master. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I passed on both of them, in case you're wondering. Yeah, I don't think I need to get any of these just yet. And again, hmm. Let's grab that one. Probably out of reach, to be honest. I should just focus on Goder's charity. Some of the jobs require you gain the final skill, and I should prioritize those. More leaves. I don't know if that's the way forward or not. To be honest, I'm not even paying attention to the EXP yields off these. They could be good, they could be bad. I'm just not consciously looking. More wriggling root. I don't know if I've gotten those before, so I don't know what they do offhand. And that fight was against wasps. The first time I've seen anything other than lizards here, and the wasps do not pay. They die very, very easy to bows and fire, which Oshet has access to both. At least I think she has a fire one. I just relied on her bow, to be honest, and I have two scholars throwing out fire spells, so... We're good on that front. The boss should be over there. Are you my next patient? Okay, I need to remember to show this. Right. So we get luck of the Kate if we can capture that. You can see the odds of that are slim to nothing. I want to do this. Come on, then. Don't run! Don't run! Don't run! You jerk! Here I go. I did want to try to capture one, but so be it. Prepare yourself now. Where was I? There's a chance. There's a chance. Let's do it. Thinking time. Pierce them. No. <laughs> Damn it all. Right. I mean, it wasn't even close to... <laughs> Turn that sucker in the jerk as revenge. <laughs> that sucked, man. Like, there's probably a better Kate, so it's not the end of the world, but... That sucks so much, man. I was so close to being able to capture a Kate. Everything was lined up, too. 
It's kind of hard to see down here. So I think you have to go through that middle part to get to the chest. No encounter on the water, interestingly enough. And it oats down. Okay, I paid attention to that fight. The lizards just aren't really worth it. They're weak to ice and wind, for the most part. At least those ones were. Now we're gonna go in this with maximum cockiness. So you should get a warning here about there being an enemy present. So you can see everyone's topped off. What we have here with the antidote stone that we saw a moment ago, I assume this thing's gonna be poisonous. Okay, I'm getting perfectly honest. I was not expecting there to be a plant monster here, and I need that thief back, hmm. damn you. Let me look at you. Twenty thousand fire. Oh dear. Okay. Let's go. Thinking time. Let me look at you. Here we go. Huh. Where was I? Holding on. The important thing is, unlike that one boss from Final Fantasy IX at the beginning of the game, Thinking it's not time. actually draining stuff from my team or the person that's captured. Let me look at you. Of course, it's just... Very well. Be here. Let's go. She doesn't have to force. Go on then. Fire. Burn. Oh dear. Be here. If you were here, I could have her do a single target heal, but, you know. So yeah, it's untamable. I assume we'll be getting Casty back from the three in December. And to optimally break them, you're going to want to use the Elemental Barrage, because you've got three types of work. Break it. Here we go! back. And we knew it survived because we saw I it. back down. I think that did more damage than his light sprint. Play away. Go on then. Where was 
Gained valuable insights. Yeah, double scholar. It can't handle that. Now you have a chance to run to the enemy on the way out, and if you do, you're able to capture and seal from it then. Frost axe. So that's meant for Casty. And you can see at this stage of the game, it's just not really relevant anymore. Like, I get more attack and speed from the silver hatchet, but I don't get the ice boost. Now, if I have someone as a sub apothecary, I believe that's Hikari at the moment, then they can benefit off that. But my main apothecary is covered. So I'll keep the video going until we get out of here on the off chance we run into the boss again. And that time we'll actually try to catch it. That was a Ratkin 6. It's not as promising as its number would imply. <laughs> Just hit it with some lightning and down it goes. So yeah, this is going to be a short video. I'm probably going to have to pair with something else just because this place is a bit of a disappointment. I wonder if it'll even be 15 minutes after I take the fights out of it. But yeah, that was the Waterway folks. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching and goodbye.